A little bit of factor analysis, exploratory factor analysis. This is what I'm going to grade you on. I expect you to know you're going to go to analyze dimension reduction factor. So we're going to just do this little group all at once. Descriptives. You always want coefficients, significance levels, determinants, Como and Bartlett. Ah. Extraction, going to the dentist. Nothing to do here. I don't care about discrete plots anymore. Some of the other teachers will. I personally do not. Rotation. We always begin with the very max. You've got to remember that is an orthogonal rotation. And the oblomen here is an oblique rotation. So if you think your new factors are going to be strongly correlated, you would use the oblique. It allows overlap between the new factors where the very max, the orthogonal, does not. It tries to remove all the overlapping variants there. Okay, continue. Scores. We're going to save the new factors as variables. They're going to be full of weird numbers, which th then you can use these new factors as a variable, as a regular variable. And options. We always want them in order of size, and we want a minimum of 0.4 loading. If they don't load or you know, be correlated to the rest of the questions in the factor of 0.4, we don't want to use them. And this is what you look at. There's correlation matrix. I see a lot of significance down there. KMO means the sample size is big enough if it's greater than 0.5, and it is. Partless test of sphericity should always be significant. It's always 0, 0, 0. All that means is at least two of these questions, two of these items, are significantly correlated, so you should proceed with your factor analysis. Oh, yeah, let's go back and look at our... Determinant, it is not zero. You may continue. What else do you need to know? All right, so here's the number of new eigenvalues from our six questions. There were two, and together with both of these, they explain about 62% of the variance of the way the questions were answered. Now, this is the individual factor. The first factor can do about 44%. The second factor by itself can do about 18%. you got to know that. And look at the rotated component matrix, and that tells you who, which question, which item lines up under which new factor. So factor 1 is 3, 5, 1, 4. And you see, you notice it's got a lot of overlap here. It could be bad, but you never know. And here's question 2 and 6. They seem to be going under number two by itself. So when you have this spread like this, this question five, item five, should go under the, un, under the new factor that has the highest value. So question five you'd put under number one because it's 0.752 loading under number one and only 0.426 under number two. So that's the first part. Second part is to check the reliability of these new factors. So hold on. You're going to go to... Analyze, scale, reliability. We're going to look at the Chromebacks Alpha. So the first questions seem to be, what are they? Uh, three, five, one, four. Three, five, one, four. The reason they're in this order is because question three loads up the best, five second best, two third best, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. And we always want the item scale, scale deleted. And we do it. So we're going to look at our Chrome X Alpha. Hold on. There it is right there. It's kind of low, 0.635. you got to know that the cutoff for Chrome X Alpha is 0.7. So if it's not quite up to set 0.7, scroll down to the item total statistics box. This last, co this last column here, very importante, tells you what your Chromebex Alpha would be if you deleted an item. So here's one. If you got rid of question four, your Chromebex Alpha would jump up to 0.718. So that's probably what I would suggest is get rid of question four because if you remember...
question four was the with the was the weakest one of this new factor four. Let's do them one more time. A lot of times people want to do all the questions under the same Chromebacks Alpha, which you can if all the questions are supposedly measuring the same thing. Go to Analyze, Scale. We're going to do a reliability. This time we're going to put them all in there. That should be set. It is. So the reliability of all those questions put together, oh, it's terrible. Right? It's 0.539. That's way low. Let's see if we can kick out any one or two questions that would bring that up a little bit higher. And there it is again, right? So if you kicked out question six, the rest of these five questions you could use as a new factor because the Chrome X Alpha would be greater than 0.7. So you need to know all that stuff. That's it. MGZ.